Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Eli Fishman with Talking Ball Interviews, back with another interview. And today I'm very happy to be joined by Philadelphia Phillies prospect, Luke Miller. Luke, thank you so much for coming on today. No problem. I appreciate you having me. Thank you so much for joining me today. Much, much appreciated. Now, starting off your career, you were a 22nd round pick in last year's Major League Baseball draft to the Phillies out of Indiana. What's your draft story, and how much does it mean to you to be drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies? Uh, I mean, it means a lot. I mean, it's a dream come true, you know, growing up playing baseball. Like, everybody wants to make it to the pros, so getting the opportunity is huge. So, um, so far, how has professional baseball been, and you know, were there any big surprises when you started your career, and has everything lived up to expectations? I mean, yeah. I mean, I knew coming in it was going to be a grind. I mean, we work every day doing something, you know, as it BP, in and out, all this stuff, working out. So it's a grind, but it's an opportunity that you can't pass up. So You start in the GCL where you guys have the biggest grind. You, got, yeah. you guys are there at, what, like 6.30 in the morning? Yep. And then 12 a.m. game is... How much of a grind is that? That's a huge grind. You know, you wake up, you do a workout, then you have a full practice, and then you go in for lunch, and then you come back out for a game. So it's long days. You recently got promoted from the Sally League, where sometimes the guys will have to go from Georgia to Jersey. Yeah. What's what's worse, the, the bus ri trips like that or the grind in the GCL? You know, I don't really mind the bus trips. Like, you know, it's not that bad for me. I kind of enjoy them, just, you know, hanging out with the guys and on a bus for long periods of time. I mean, it's not bad. So waking up early is definitely worse for me. How much does this Phillies organization mean to you? And who are some people in this organization that you feel have helped you out the most? Um, you know, the Phillies are a great organization to play for. I mean, they historical team. They got great people working for them. Um, at the beginning of this year, I was in extended, and I had a hitting guy, Joel McKeithen. He was new this year, and I feel like I learned a lot from him, just talking to baseball in and out with him about swings and everything. Just really helped me this year to make it to where I am. Typically, an extended is where they want guys who they want to work on specific things. For you, starting the year off an extended, where you might not even have been to a full season affiliate during the season, you working up from extended all the way to advanced day in your first full season. Talk to me about your progression this season, what you've worked on, and what has led to you to this level. I mean, at the beginning of the year, I was just trying to work on basically first base, playing third base and outfield, you know, being really versatile in my playing. So just trying to, like, get better at each individual position and then figure out my swing a little bit better. So doing that's really helped me move up faster, I guess. What's your baseball philosophy, uh, excuse me, baseball philosophy, and what's your approach every time you step out on the field? Well, hitting-wise, I'm trying to stay, step away from, like, the – result oriented based stuff so like not go up there and be like oh I need to get a hit or like stuff like that or I'm gonna try to hit a home run just going up there and trying to hit the ball hard and what happens happens so just try to stay a little bit more positive in that aspect because if you're going up there expecting to get a hit then when you don't get a hit you get mad at yourself or stuff like that you know so just trying to stay in my swing and my approach and try to hit stuff hard and eventually stuff is gonna fall so when a scout watches you play, what do you want them to take away from you? Uh, I'm just out there playing as hard as I can. Um, Tool-wise, what is your best tool uh, of the five tools, and what is one that you're working on, you know, would, would like to improve on? Um, I think my hitting is probably my best tool. I can hit for a little bit of power here and there, and then I think I also have a pretty good arm. Uh, my worst one is probably my speed. I need to really work on my agility and stuff like that, moving a little bit better. List some goals for yourself, you know, short term while you're here in Clearwater, the season, and maybe career wise? Short term, you know, I'm just trying to get better each and every day. Just trying to figure out something each day I can get better at, whether it's a swing adjustment, whether it's fielding, just stuff like that. So by the end of the season, I've improved on myself and my game. And then long term, obviously, I want to be in the big leagues one day. So, What's one big lesson that you've picked up from the Phillies? From the Phillies, you know, I think a lot of it's like the stay away from result oriented. I've had a lot of coaches talk to me about like just having good ABs, and when you keep having good ABs, you know, you're going to have good results. So stop focusing on, you know, trying to get hits or hit doubles. You know, just really think about like staying in your approach and hitting balls hard. So, are you a stats guy, analytics? Will you look at the um, track man and will you look at, you know, your. Uh, swing path, exit velo, stuff like that? 
Yeah, I mean, I think that's an important tool to have now. Like, you can learn a lot from those stats and stuff, but, like, not being so in tune to them, that, that that's all that matters, you know? So, like, you're going to look at them. You're going to look at the other pitcher stuff. But at the end of the day, like, the percentages and everything like that, like, that's not what's making me hit balls, right? So, like, I just got to go up there and stay in my approach and know what I can do. All right, thank you so much for coming on today. Really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice thank meeting you. You, you too.